Hello, my name is Dr. Ben Benham. I'm a board certified dermatologist uh, in Los Angeles, California. Welcome, and today I'm going to be doing a case study of one of my stem cell patients uh, who we did about a few years ago. Uh, so this is actually a very interesting case. So this is a gentleman, he's 41 years old, who came in uh, with hair loss in two areas of his scalp. It was mainly the crown area along with what we call the mid frontal scalp. But he did have hair in the frontal area. So when he came in, we decided to treat only one of the areas, which is kind of the, the mid frontal scalp. And we did not want to do anything to the crown area. So we only want to do one area. And the reason is when we do stem cells, stem cells are like a fertilizer. So you don't want to spread it everywhere. You really want to focus in one area and hit it really hard. You know, it's a rookie's mistake to spread it all over. So we want to hit one, take one area and hit it really hard. So we did our first first patient and we did him first time and this is his basically before photo again he had a lot of hair in the front we focused in the mid frontal scalp and we left the crown area alone so we did him and then he came back to me about 23 months later and he's like doc I'm gonna let you know that the hair grew out but then the hair fell out I'm like okay well let's take a photo and let's examine it so this is him 23 months, almost two years later. And when you look at the photo, the first thing you're gonna notice is that this is the crown area that we did not treat. This is the frontal area that we didn't treat either. And this is the area we treated. So we see that, we see a couple points here. First of all, the area that we treated with stem cell, almost two years later, it was still visible. There's still a lot of hair is still there. If you compare it to two years before, basically this is the area we treated. He really had not much hair. And we see now, two years later, basically the hair is still quite a lot there, right there. Which means that the stem cell, it did grow hair. And number two, the stem cell results, it's still there two years later. Number two, he thought that the hair that grew out fell out, but actually that's not true. What he's looking at is the crown area that we never treated. And yeah, that area is never gonna grow out because we never treated with the stem cell. So this actually shows a really good contrast between the area that we did treat and the area that we did not treat. The area that we treated with the stem cell, which was only this area, grew out really well, and two years later, it's still robust. The area that we did not treat, which was his crown area, yeah, the area didn't grow much. So he came back two years later, so when we showed him the before and after photos, he was delighted. He, he said the it looks like the stem cell really worked great. Uh, when he came initially, we told him that the stem cell results probably gonna last about a year, but it's actually been two years and it's still going on very well. The patient is not using anything else. He's not on oral propitia and he's not on topical minoxyl or topical propitia. This is purely stem cell. So then basically we went ahead and basically just did his, his second area just recently and we haven't seen the patients back yet. But the good news is that it shows that one, the stem cell works, and number two, this is the first report in actually the YouTube literature demonstrating a stem cell results two years later after its initial injections. So I'm very happy to share this result with you guys, showing the longevity of stem cells. And in fact, please look at my other videos. We have another video coming out that actually shows uh, most several patients basically demonstrating results, showing results from anywhere from 18 to 24 months where the effectiveness of the stem cell lasts that long. So thank you so much for listening. Have a beautiful day.